السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی سیلف پروفیسر عطیق الرحمٰن آئی ایم پروفیسر ان انڈسٹریل انجینئرنگ ڈپارٹمنٹ کالج آف انجینئرنگ آئی ایم ٹیکنگ کیئر آف سبجیکٹ آئی فور سکس نائن مینوفیکچرنگ سسٹم دس کورس آبجیکٹیو ایز ٹو ڈیزائن اینڈ پرووائڈ دا ڈیفینیشن ایز ویل ایز کلاسیفیکیشن آف ویریس مینوفیکچرنگ سسٹمس Uh, related to the manual operation as well as automated operation fundamentals. Uh, in this subject, we try to uh, cover up uh, various manufacturing metrics and economics uh, point of view. Similarly, we also touch to the single, uh, uh, manu single station manufacturing system, multi-station manufacturing system, transfer line, production lines, as well as automated assembly and auto manual uh, assembly systems. Apart from that, we also try to uh, understand or uh, modeling and uh, modeling of manufacturing system using petri nets. The course objective is to provide understanding and awareness of uh, various manufacturing systems, uh, practical application of manufacturing systems, uh, which will give us uh, knowledge to the students in terms of designing uh, performance analysis uh, as well as the structural analysis of uh, a given manufacturing system. Objective is to identify uh, principles and strategies of manufacturing system uh, as well as formulate and solve case studies related to the manufacturing system. So, uh, similarly, apply uh, engineering design concepts uh, to the solutions for single station, multi-station uh, manufacturing system, assembly line, transfer line, production lines. Uh, similarly, uh, in a lab, the, 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 this particular course has three sections, theory, tutorial, and the lab. So in theory, mostly we try to cover up all the explained uh, as early, as well as in the lab, we try to focus on mostly on the modeling of manufacturing system. In tutorial, we try to solve numerous examples, practical examples. Uh, this is about this course objective and the course content. Uh, regarding uh, the uh, exam, point of view so this course uh, for assessment point of view so this course uh, has uh, two midterms uh, one final exam uh, midterms uh, as as well as there is a lab exam and lab quizzes will be there and similarly tutorial so tutorial will try to cover some homework and quizzes uh, similarly midterm and uh, uh, midterm two it, the weightage is given around 20 20 percent and lab and quizzes are given 10 10 percent weightage each and the final exam 40% weightage. Uh, apart from this, uh, this subject, if you want to understand what is its application, it's very practical as uh, oriented subject. The subject, uh, one can understand real life examples in an industry. So the books we referred are the uh, uh, automated uh, automation production system uh, and competitive manufacturing by the grower, as well as we prefer to use uh, one of the book uh, that is also called a term as uh, Modeling and Analysis of Manufacturing System by Askin. So these two books we refer uh, and we try to uh, solve the numerous examples and we try to cover up various case studies uh, in this particular case studies means practical examples uh, uh, of the man related to the manufacturing systems. So this course is a uh, little bit uh, we can say that 30% theoretical and 70% numerical. In exams also, we try to understand you know, the uh, concepts related to the conceptual concept about the manufacturing systems, uh, as well as the practical application examples and numericals will be asked in the exam. Uh, related to the uh, scoring of the marks, if somebody asks me, then I can say that uh, the passing is not difficult. Passing is possible easy, that because it covers around 30% as well as uh, midterms and everywhere 30% is the theoretical part. But numerical part one has to study in depth, concept has to be very clear and various formulas are there which one, one industrial engineer, as industrial engineer one should remember it and that formulas will not be given uh, into the exams and one has to understand that because that is the requirement of an industrial engineer as, a, as in a field you might need uh, that formulas or that particular concept for practical application. So one has to go through all those uh, or one has to remember all those the basics. Uh, we, we, we suggest it, okay. But some exam, sometimes we provide uh, formulas which are very critical formulas. That formulas will be given to you in exam. 
but we prefer that as an industrial engineer uh, one should uh, remember very basic fundamental uh, things which are required related to the manufacturing system. Apart from this, uh, if I just say that uh, the prerequisite for this course as such, it is not there anything. So, we can take and uh, uh, if I want to tell about the uh, manufacturing system a little bit more. So, here uh, we try to uh, understand uh, very uh, the basic examples. We will start from the very basic examples, then we try to make it to the uh, realistic uh, examples in the textbook. So, textbook also covers very good examples. Uh, that is what about this particular subject. So, wish you best of luck. Thank you.